Okay, should be live now. Hello, dear people from everywhere. How are you doing? This is August the 5th on a Thursday. And this is the August live stream from Avenue X. Last time we met was uh, July the 8th. Pretty much a month. So, hope everyone is doing well wherever you are. We have a very cloudy and cold, not cold, cloudy and wet and kind of end of summer day here. So hope wherever you are, your weather is treating you kindly, if not anything else treating you kindly. Hello, from UK, from... Yeah, it's Wang Yibo's birthday, I know. Singapore, hi. India, hi. It's all evening time over there. Yeah, the other, the other half of the planet, obviously, would be cold. NYC, Brazil, Sweden, hi, hi, Germany, hello, Australia, Cambodia, wow, Indonesia, wow, Quebec. Ooh, Pakistan, wow, Bulgaria, Malaysia, wow, wow, wow. It's like reading out world map. It's great that so many people from so many different places somehow all showed up here. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. <clears throat> Lebanon, wow, okay. <laughs> Nepal. You're gonna just, people are just gonna type out every, every country's name, Philippines, in, in this world. It will become an Olympic Games. As the real Olympic Games is still running three days from ending. Thailand. Okay, so how's everyone doing? We've had, I mean, to China, okay, not everywhere, but to China, quite a crazy July. Let's see what August would bring, whether it would be just like much more quieter and or it will continue to be crazy. Crazy weather, crazy everything, really. It's just everything is insane. Like even the Olympic Games is weird. Can we check? Oh, hi. I just got an order from Czech Republic. <laughs> Yesterday? Yeah. Wondering like, um, <clears throat> you know, like, what do you think about the Olympic Games that is ongoing right now? Let, let's just talk about that first a little bit and then we can talk about all the other <laughs> stuff. How was that? It's definitely the weirdest Olympic Games, I have to say. <laughs> Just very weird. <laughs> Everything is weird. The opening ceremony is weird, and then so many weird cardboard, like actually made of paper beds. Really? Really? Why? <sighs> Badminton, yeah, cool. Oh, no bad. We a lot of good medals. <laughs> Honestly, I think for most of Chinese people this time, uh, for for overall, the the, the general public is like come back safe. <laughs> it's like it, as long as you all come back healthy and safe, it's all good. Like medals do not matter really that much this time. People are like that, and people are very zen about meadows. Obviously, they would cheer for meadows, but then we're like, yeah, yeah, as long as, as you guys come back alive, it's fine. <sighs> Where did you, I don't have any bangles. I haven't been wearing them for a while. And all, all the ones that I've ever collected uh, in the ears, gone by uh all from china obviously because <laughs> it's like a cultural thing right like the jaws thing is very chinese um and so most of the pretty ones or different stone type ones they pretty much like you have the 
widest selection in China than anyone er anywhere else really so you sometimes you have like all kinds of stones it can be jade but it can be other stuff too <sighs> yeah this time safety definitely comes first for sure and <laughs> and nobody really really care too much about the chart and who gets most of most of the meadows really Yeah, Olympic Games have so many, like even skateboarding, which was like so cool. That's an Olympic game, really? Very, very cool. Okay, so after uh, the crazy things that has happened about, let's say, five days ago, right? So right now, Right now, pretty much everybody is staying very low-key in Chinese entertainment, as you can imagine. The funny thing about this is afterwards, immediately, I think it was the day yesterday or the day before, um, literally the Tencent game, Honor of Kings, which is the game that in You Are My Glo Glory, the drama that Didi Roba and Yan plays, the game got name-pointed, literally name-pointed. By, by Chinese government, which is saying you should stop children from under 12 to pay money to pay, play your game. You have to implement some kind of uh, uh, structure and method to prevent people under 12 to play your game with paid money, okay? And then name called this game out, basically saying it is just doing too much damage to the younger population. <coughs> This is like very rare, like an actual game got name called specifically and um, hmm, Tencent's, Tencent's stock just poof, dropped. And um, so the drama, You Are My Glory, now is very low key. Um, if previously it was promoting itself in any sort of um, way, now they're like staying really quiet. They're not trying to promote, they're just airing as normal, not to putting too much they're backing off because of Tencent um, just got <laughs> What can you say? Like it just runs into everything, right? They air the drama and the drama airs about 12, 14 episodes Then this news comes out And it's intentionally sl just smacking Tencent's face from the government It's like you in China, the gaming, internet, online gaming, okay, the entire market, the size of it last year was about let me remember the number 300 billion 300 b um, rmb that's the entirety of the market and tencent alone takes over half of that so it's under 30 it's about 270 really two is it yeah 270 b as the whole and then tencent takes over 150 so that's how big Tencent's monopolizing power is in the gaming industry and it got name called like it's it's flagship game right honor of kings so the, the drama is like we're just gonna stay quiet and finish airing and it will be fine um but the drama really it's just the first half that's heavy on the game right and the later half will be much less so it kind of also already aired all its gaming episodes before this comes out. Shouldn't be too big a problem. But you can tell um, that's one thing that has come down. It, the other thing is clearly being pointed out by all the big, like the CCTVs, the uh, even Zhong Jiwei, which is China's, uh, what's the word? Procurator? Like I can't pronounce that English name, but basically it's Chinese Fa, right? Literally, Zhong Jiwei, the, uh, <laughs> the biggest organization that, that's taking care of these things, comes out and say they need to, uh, the, the fandom culture, fandom operation, all the chart, uh, all the underage kids who got really employed, like data troops, all that needs to stop. And it has just come out and saying, you know, it's, it's gonna get cleaned up quite, quite, quite 
thoroughly from now on. So fandom is getting literally um, hammered down. Uh, for the first time really like this, clearly said we're gonna take care of this. So that's also just happened and and then you know before that. So these three things happened very close proximity. First, first is the WeFan thing at the very end of July, last day, and then it is the fandom thing that got called out, and then it is the Honor of the Kings, the game, and the Tencent got called out. Nice, hey? <laughs> Everyone is just like, okay, okay, so that's that. Mm, let's see what else. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, honestly, everybody is very happy about in any way Tencent get 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 its name called. It's it's a shameless conglomerate monster. It has done so many things like in its track record that is just despicable. So, <laughs> it, like you know, general public very happy to see Tencent getting. Probably its investors wouldn't be very happy if you have like a lot of stocks in Tencent, you won't be happy, but everyone else would be very happy. <sighs> Did someone say, you think I'm gonna eat watermelon? <laughs> no. First is I actually don't like watermelon. I know a lot of people like it, but it's a fruit I, unless you like give it to me and as a courtesy, I eat it. I never go buy watermelon myself and never, it just, it has weird properties in it that just makes me pee like crazy. I eat one bite of watermelon, I can pee four times. <laughs> no other fruit can do that apart from watermelon, so I don't eat it. <laughs> So a couple of news uh, on drama that just happened, which is supposedly last day of this month, August, and it will be the Warm Valley, the Valley of Worms from the Kendo in Tomb coming out. Initially, it was said to come out today, really, initially, I think. But then, because of its executive or its producer, who is Guan Hu, who actually got implicated, Although not actually public, but the rumor has it all that he actually got implicated in the whole Chris Wu thing, so the drama got hold off. But now they said it's gonna be end of this month. We shall wait and see if that's gonna turn out to be true. If a drama says it's gonna come out, but it's like in four weeks time or three weeks time, then just take it with a lot of grain of salt. It may not happen. Um, it's too far ahead. And I know I am a little bit, um, at least on my end, I look like I'm frozen. Hopefully not too bad. Yeah, uh, internet may not be working very well today. Mm, yeah, I definitely look like I'm buff. Mm -hmm, I'm buffering. So there might be a part of what I said has has been lost to you. So Kendo in Tomb now is set end of this month, August the 30th. We'll, sh we'll wait. It may not happen still because of... Um, usually when something say a drama is gonna air in a month, just, just don't believe it yet. <laughs> it doesn't work like that anymore in China. And then uh, The Oath of Love is set to come out September the 8th. That is very far away. That is more than a month away. So really just still keep your expectation low, okay? For people who are waiting for that one, suggest you keep it low. It may not happen like that. Usually these days, announcing a month ahead is too much. It's hoping for too much. Um, could just be the platform saying that so that people have, um, people, people, We'll, we'll leave it, you know, like wouldn't keep bugging them about when are you airing, all that, because they've recently just rushed into Mango TV's account and just bombarded them with, with like, when are you airing the drama? May, that may be why they said we're gonna air in September, but wait until then to see if it's for sure. All, all the drama airing is like, <laughs> on 
until you actually see the drama running on that platform on the day at that clock at the hour don't believe in anything we've had it before five minutes before airing drama getting taken down so it's just okay okay yeah yeah you said that but we'll see that would be the best way of looking at it So let me look at the uh, <laughs> let me look at the chat. How is you? It's only rumor, no confirmation. We don't know. It it could come out anytime now because they they're ready. Their license is ready. Their past censorship, everything is ready. It, I think Tencent is just Tencent is just so wanting to throw this thing out at the perfect timing so that it can get get the most amount of like value you know out of it timing is um is a hard thing to do i i i understand why they're they're holding it because now it kind of isn't the best time thank you for flower for the 80k sub did i hit it i have no idea maybe yesterday <laughs> I, i'm not keeping up i totally am not looking at that let me see i have no idea actually <sighs> oh wow i have 111 how cute the number thank you <laughs> um yeah so for for the tencent that holds sha po lang uh hao yixing immortality and then zhang gong an the nobleman or gentleman or whatever you know, right now, if I were the, I were Tencent, I I'd be holding it off for a bit. Um, one very very simple thing is this: Chris Wu thing is likely to see a, a little bit progression in August, because um, there's there's a maximum detention, like the detention time you can you can keep a person in there, and the, although maximum theoretically is thirty seven days, they rarely need that long. To, to to have that full time and then move into the move on to the next stage of prosecution. Usually it doesn't take the full time. Twenty days usually, okay? That's like what I've I've collected on the internet coming from policemen saying those things. So we're very likely to see the second stage report from the police of the Chris Wu thing in August. And whatever the news comes out, you know, whether he 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 gets off easy or he goes to the next stage of um you know like <laughs> basically uh, just depend just just deciding how many years he needs to stay in prison that type of thing um whatever that news would be and then if it comes out with other stars uh singers actors producers directors whatever those people getting implicated with that news projecting that in sometime in august this will happen it's gonna just <laughs> take all the attention away like internet will be flooded again with chris with stuff for a week or five days or something like that and then all the hashtag on all social platforms all the trending ones will be him it will not be about any dramas no matter how good your drama is it will be irrelevant okay so if i were the people who are working intense and i have a couple of dramas i want to air at this time would i want to go out now because once I start, I can't stop. I can't just say I postpone <laughs> the drama for a week and not airing it. And if it runs head into reality show, like the biggest reality show of Chinese entertainment business ever since the starting of social media in China, every, like the money I would have put into promoting my drama, my actors, my specific plot point that happens in this week will just all be erased. <laughs> it will just be, you know, step down all, all, all the way and then everybody will just look at Chris Wu. So, would I want to let my drama come out now? I think more logically, you want to wait for the second stage of this case at least we know some kind of you know what's gonna happen for him for example okay he's he's found really you know 
in this thing and we move to public prosecution all that takes a couple of months then goes to court um we hear that and then we're like people are settled people are like okay we know and then we can move on to other things right so I think I would at least wait till some kind of confirmation of Chris Wu's thing comes out and then I air a drama that I bet a lot of money on it. I want to promote it to the biggest possible. I would I would want an open window for it, right? I don't want it to just run into this. So, so logically speaking, even if they had plans to air the drama sometime say you know, previously one BL drama out of their basket in August. Now they probably are just like, let's just wait for a bit. At least wait for half a month, you know, just to see what happens. I would, I would be doing that. I definitely wouldn't want it to run heading to <laughs> the, the next big wave of Chris Wu. So, so the likelihood of a BL airing this month is is reduced by the fact that um, yeah, there, there's a real person <laughs> who, who is he, who is heading the headlines. Make sense? Okay, let me look at the uh, chat because I wasn't really looking. Whew. Hmm, yeah, entertainment business for sure. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to. <laughs> feel sad for Yangzi. Yeah, she's unlucky. She has been unlucky, unlucky in in a sequence of unlucky <laughs> projects. <sighs> The Gilman and yeah, I know. I posted that on Weibo. I I hope he, he wouldn't be too disappointed by the drama, particularly you know the later stage of things suddenly getting a bit weird. Or I hope that he's okay to to sit through the first four episodes of crazy flirting from Wen Kuxing. That just doesn't quite make sense <laughs> when you don't realize what's going on. Um, yeah, I I, I saw that. I saw his uh, Twitter. It's very cool. Pretty sure Zhang Zhehan would have known by now. <laughs> I'm not seeing any trending hashtags about the drama yet. Because in China right now, all the trending hashtags are uh, on Olympic Games. Of the, of the table tennis team getting the, the team gold. The team gold. Uh, everything uh, top 10 is all about right now is all about Olympic Games so not seeing anything else how you think oh how is in the twenty is in the 20s let's see what they're saying because it wasn't before I sat down okay rumor says 20th who knows you know like until the moment the drama airs it's it never will give you like you you can only trust it to, to an extent like 20 percent or 50 percent you can't just go full there, there's rumors about it airing this month let's see let's see again like i said if we fan sting has any progress in the middle of this month the drama may just hold off again just just waiting for the perfect time to air and i'm breaking off a little bit again i can tell on my end hopefully it's not too bad on your end um oh oh and there's um i'm waiting for the signal to go back to perfect then oh somebody sent me a super chat it didn't jump out on my end let me see did you ask a question 
GP <laughs> What is that name? I don't I can't see one. I, I can only see a 799. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Hopefully I'm not yeah, I'm lagging. Yeah. Internet. Uh, what can you do? It's it's a bit wobbly today. For no good reason. This road work outside, but I don't think it will have anything to do with that. Um Yujun Ge, yeah, yeah, the Chang'an the Cheng Yi and Zhang Yuxi drama is coming out. They just released that today. Um for the uh if you're looking forward to Chris Wu's thing moving forward, we can look forward to the very middle of this month, August 14th, 15th, just because Wang Feng has a concert schedule for that day too. If you do not know, this famous singer, who is Zhang Ziyi's husband, and he's known in China as a person who can never get on the trending hashtag one because every time there's a possibility of that happening, some bigger news comes out and it presses him down. So people use him as a kind of prediction tool. <laughs> if he has some big news song, like a new song release, concert, whatever happening, then on that day, a bigger, a bigger gossip and news will take place so that he cannot end up on the top and it has become somehow a jinx on this guy it really has happened like that too many times before um so on july the 31st the day when police uh, released that statement in china it was also the day he was holding a concert exactly same same night like he his concert starts at 8 and the police released something at 10 something like that so his next concert is august the 14th <laughs> so like the best we can predict for this thing to move forward is on august the 14th we're gonna hear the second stage of Wu Fan's case this guy do you know Wang Feng? this singer he he is like um reverse prediction kind of bug of this world. He he has the reputation like that, and then Xiao Jingteng, the singer, has the reputation of being the god of rain. Both of them never miss the thing. Every time it works. Everywhere Xiao Jingteng goes, it rings. To the point where if he's if he's standing under a canopy, okay, it doesn't ring, he steps out outside of the canopy it starts to ring and then he steps back the ring stops it has been called on camera really like so that the ring god and the melon god of chinese entertainment business are these two guys so we can hope for the 14th of august or sometime around that day that we're gonna hear news so if if immortality is coming out it should be aiming at coming out after that no later half of this month after the, the 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 storm has blown you know over the entertainment business then come up <laughs> Wang Feng <laughs> he's just like he, he's it has happened too many times too many times that everyone just believes in it now so i guess when everyone believes in something it also gives it energy to make it like propel perpetually just can continuously happen we shall see if that if that's gonna turn out to be if it did turn out like that way wow what can we say Explain a Yangzi boycott. Nobody's boycotting Yangzi. It's Yangzi's fans boycotting the project. Yeah. That she just finished filming. And it's because at least the fandom and the people believe that she doesn't want to take the role, but she has a contract signed to the company, so she has to do it. That type of thing. 
it's another xianxia, a very like ash of, ashes of love kind of project and all his all her career fans are thinking you have moved on like you're you're more mature older you should just leave this genre entirely and move to more serious stuff to make yourself sort of um more more of a kind of proper serious actress at this point because you've done enough but then she because of a contract issue she has to take that road therefore her fans are like okay fine because you have that you can't you can't really not do it but we are not going to support the drama so they just all radio silence they want all radio silence they literally not show up on any um stuff related to this drama so it would only be Cheng Yi's fans in any way trying to push that drama whatever Yang Zi's fans are out out of this that that's what it is <laughs> these days a eh? uh, power the power play It's not her fans hate Xianxia. She she is considered she should move beyond beyond that. Cause those roles you can play a million and they're just like each other. And honestly, this type of roles will never put you in any place that's let's say we're running for an award mm -hmm, within the industry. Or we're we're trying to become sort of the recognized a different class of actress if you keep playing this very um this type of dramas you just never get considered so if if you want her career to move to the sort of industry recognized a different class she has to leave that genre really and doing other more uh let's say realism or in in China, okay, still, if you wanted to be considered as a serious actress, you have to do those type of works. You can't just stay in the idol fantasy, that kind of land. It just, yeah. And she's at that time where, you know, 30s, right? So she needs to move on, really. That's why. The serious career fans. So um, let me just see what is going on. We can talk about a couple of things that's been quite popular recently in China. Obviously, Chris Wu thing. We'll talk about that, um, but maybe later. <clears throat> a couple of dramas. <laughs> uh, let, let's start with um, the drama news. I've already said about <clears throat> what has just been announced. What are the drama schedule for this month and next? But then wait until then to see if it actually happens. Cannot become really confirmed really at this stage. Um, and then hopefully a BL can come out, depending on how Chris Wu thing moves. Then uh, Tian Guan Sifu. <laughs> okay, Tian Guan Sifu is filming, and every day there's leaked photos about this production. They they are like trying to, from day one, grab your attention. I don't think it's really the best thing, but every day I see leaked photos from sets, um, about what they're doing, and um. I'd say if it's totally without their permission, it wouldn't happen in that way. Not not the best thing I think for project, but I I've seen like at least three different, four different costumes for both leads now <laughs> that have come out on the leaked photos on the internet. Um, yeah, so that is uh, that drama is like you know before we even see any official stuff, it's already everywhere, and it's likely to stay that way until the end of it. When it finishes and when it airs, it's gonna be a high profile project from beginning to end. Overexposure. Overexposure. Not not necessarily the best thing. Um I mean honestly, there are a couple of costumes that came out later looking better than the first one that just shocked everyone when on the first day of shooting. Um but still it looks like rather cheap overall okay looking at the different different costumes that you've seen it still looks a little bit cheap mm. it's um because neither of the leads are very 
popular or famous or like top, you know. So they wouldn't really get so much money paid for their roles, comparatively speaking. So I'd say for this kind of project, most of the money should still go to the production itself. But but at least costume department doesn't look very good. Mm. Other things we haven't seen because right now they're all filming exteriors. I think everything that's being leaked now all happened like on those like open <laughs> land of like grass or I don't know what it looks like river banks, sandy places. It's all outside exterior shots. So we haven't seen any sets, any built interior. You don't know like you can can't gauge how much money they've spent on that. Um, we can only see the costumes really so far and some look better than others but overall still it's a little bit cheap and it's called Ji Xing Gao Zhao so it's technically not Tian Kuan Si <laughs> hmm. I'm worried about the acting really I think costume wouldn't be the worst problem. The worst problem would be acting. Uh, Zhao Linghe, I've seen him in other dramas. He's just okay in front of the camera. He, he's not like, some people are embarrassingly bad. Such as Chris Wu is embarrassingly bad, okay, let's be honest. He is not, he's just normal in front of the camera. But Zhai Xiaowen, I have no idea. I, I don't know what he looks like when he's acting and that's worrying. Because Xielin is a harder role to play. If you put those two characters there and for actors to pick, and you would pick the better, the more experienced actor to play Xielin. And it's very obvious because he's, he's kind of the Zhou Zishu, okay? And then Hua Cheng is kind of the Wen Kexing. So there's a, there's a level of um, how, 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 how subtle your, your performance needs to be for different actors, uh, different type of characters. So I'm worried about Xie Lian being played by somebody. I don't know if he can act at all. Very worrying. And you kind of need like a, a really good director. Okay, if the actor is just mm hmm but the director is also yeah, just um, not not really was wasn't known for being a good director really either. So ha, huh, very worrisome. Nini's drama, somebody asked, is that the Dongun one? Yeah, I, I'm just like, until I see something. They've only just said they started shooting. No more, so. <sighs> Xielian is tough, yeah, we should agree. Xielian is not easy to play. And if you play him too girly and too soft, it wouldn't make sense. But you play him too manly, it wouldn't make sense either. He is like, um... He is the uh, almost like a genderless character, you know. He in ways he's super beautiful, but in other ways he's super strong. And then, and how do? You, it's tough. It's for a guy, especially inexperienced actor. I don't know how you can do that. Like, <laughs> I'd be scared off. Okay, if I'm I'm not an experienced actor, and somebody say go play Shelly, I'm like, eh, maybe not. <laughs> So that we, we will see. Um, every day, as every day comes, we'll see more leaked stuff and we will we'll get a better idea about how Tianguan Sifu is going to turn out. Um, there are a couple of dramas that are airing now. I'm watching. Whew. Somebody mentioned it before, Crush. Yes, I am watching that one. It's only up, up to six, I think. Five and a half. I've watched five and a half. Um, I still need to catch on, catch on that one. Cause th there's like what twelve episodes already out there. I'm like, come on, your first week really. So I need to catch up on that one. But so far, I'm I'm okay with it. It looks good. Um, then Shangyou, uh, that I mentioned uh, on the weekly video last week. The uh, a river runs through it was Wang Ruichang and Hui Xuan. That one I'm watching too. Uh, what else am I chasing? I've watched about 12 episodes of um, Song of Youth. Youth. 
and I, I decided not to continue. It it just is too offensive to me, <laughs> to keep watching. <laughs> you want to copy from Hong Long Meng? Good luck. You know, <laughs> go bury yourself. There's not one living person in China who really has the ability to uh, to in any way write their Hong Long Meng. It's it's it's. It's just too high a mountain to climb, really, for for it for it to even attempt. So uh, that one, I I've quit. Um, I only looked at the first episode of um, Broker Broker <laughs> English name. Didn't continue. I forgot about it. So I'm not sure if I have time to go back to it. Um, that's the Song Qian and um, Luo Yunxi one. Uh, what else? And the, 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 there's another one. Oh, I'm still following. I'm still watching Remembrance of Things Past. I, I, I need to catch with the latest two episodes, 9 and 10. I still haven't had time to. They're too long. Like one episode, 70 minutes. It pretty much is like two, it's like four episodes really. So that one I need to catch up with. Yeah. So those are, I think, the ones that I'm watching right now. Um, whew. I watched only first episode of Broker and didn't want to continue uh, because, <laughs> you know, it happens again with like I speak Chinese, you speak English and somehow we communicate perfectly. That happened, I think, with like uh, Love Me If You Dare, Huo Jianhua and, and the American FBI policewoman, whatever. I remember that. And when that showed up, I was like, cringe. I understand. Okay, I understand why dramas do that, but it's very cringy to watch. It does not make any sense at all. So when I see the English and Chinese conversation, I was like, Ugh, Ugh. I, I, I was like, mm, maybe. And then once she got back to China and she enters this uh, research facility, Immediately, like it's not nothing to do with their professional job. Immediately, it becomes the woman. Like there's one colleague in that place who doesn't know her. It's just like the moment they see each other, she decides you're my enemy, and I'm gonna pick you, and I'm gonna just make your life a hell here. I'm like why? Why? Where is the logic behind that? So I stopped there. Didn't continue. I don't know what happened later. First love again. I watched the first one and a half episode and I still haven't really I, I, I was very uh, I feel everyone is either underacting or overacting in that drama you know the um, first love again Shi Bo Yu and Chen Hao Chen, Chen Hao Yu the female lead actress I think she's a bit overacting you know to be the super bubbly and noisy girl but she talks all the time she overacts all the time it's the last year of high school, right? It, it, it's a little bit too much, I think. For like, and at times she does it unnecessarily. It's like there's no really reason for you to do that, but she does it. And then for Shi Bo Yu, I feel like he's a little bit underacting. I am not quite sure what his like what what his his character is thinking or doing like at this point. It may just be it's because of the first one episode or something. I didn't. I have no idea what's happening basically. <laughs> I know he kind of time travels mentally, right, to to a timeline, but then back into his high school time. But then it's kind of different from his memory. I I don't know like what happened later. Just by the first episode and a half, I still didn't quite get a really like in the navigation world of your drama land. I am still not with a map. I have no idea where I am. I haven't continued yet. May may go back to it. So, I don't know, is it better later? Does it make sense later? Or, or did it get better, like the acting? Because the acting is a little bit off in the first two. didn't watch ancient love poetry till the end. 
didn't have the stamina. I'm losing interest in God's falling love in overall. Um, I took a very quick peek at Zhang Yunlong, parts of his acting, but then he doesn't use his own voice in this, so I'm very disappointed too. <laughs> I like his voice. When it's not his voice, I just feel weird watching him act. Um, <laughs> Unforgettable Love. Um, is it finished? Is it t up till the very end? I think. I I still need to catch up a couple of episodes. I think four or five. I I I am behind it. <laughs> I'm just behind so many things. There are too many things to watch. Come on, <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Ah. <sighs> oh. I definitely will finish that one. Okay. I I just I just think I am. I think I'm at 20 or 18, I can't remember. I can't remember which is the last episode I watched. Ah. Oh. I'm watching too many dramas at the same time. Too rude, Chi Lai Jia Chi. I even I haven't even started that one. That's on Billy Billy. Kan Xingzi. Um, it kind of aired at the same time as Remembrance of the Days Past, uh, Things Past. I, I haven't even started. I should. Holy. <laughs> Too many dramas! <laughs> ah! So, um, yeah, there are just way too many dramas, come on. <laughs> I need like another two me. Avenue X number number two, Avenue X number three, right? Three of us watching together, maybe. Maybe that, that we, we would be able to cover all the dramas. Oh, I haven't even caught up with Huo Yan Lan. Holy moly, Flaming Heart. I didn't know, like, after I made that video, I watched another episode and then, and then didn't go back to it. I don't know what happened later. I presume it's a happy ending. <laughs> Cause, cause I at this type of drama, it cannot just be a sad ending. It will be a happy ending for the two leads. Okay, for other people, I don't know. Some of them may may die, cause, cause they're they're made into like the type of characters who are like um what we call pao hui, right? So, uh, I have no idea what happened. I should go back and check. I I even forgot about Gong Jun. Thank heavens, <laughs> because of Wu Yifan Melon. Okay, when Chris Wu's story comes out, nobody cares about dramas anymore. Everyone is like. The reality show, the reality show is too exciting, too stimulating. Who cares about dramas? <laughs> Nobody cares about dramas. I don't. Honestly, I don't like now because all the stories that are ongoing that I'm watching um, there are a couple I'm like, yeah, it's watchable quite quite enjoyable. Nice. Nice, but But like my attention is next second. What is going on with Wi-Fi? Is there any news? <laughs> like every time I go I, I, I open Weibo, I look forward to update on his case not any dramas or any other thing. It's just reality is too delicious and too epic and to Im unimaginable than dramas. Dramas are so child's play. You know, you're just sesame seeds compared to the huge watermelon that's on the other end. <laughs> <clears throat> so, You Are My Glory, Crush, A River Runs Through It, Remembrance of Things Past. I'm watching them at the same time, or all of them. Okay, and I'm, I'm pretty happy about all of them. Mm, but like, the adding together, even that doesn't compare to the epicness, the saga of Chris Wu. Okay, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry about not being so so diligent at watching dramas, because <laughs> there's a better drama to watch, for sure, and it's real. <sighs> so, um. <clears throat> 
yeah, the Chris Wu story is like after the whole thing kind of calms down and has a final chapter. Um, really, people should consider making it into a movie, and it will be a huge movie. Okay, it will be like at least breaking it into two, like one and two, and each one two hours and a half, and it still wouldn't be enough because of how big this thing has become. <laughs> And it would be like a ha, anyone watched Feng Kuang the Shi Tou. I don't know its English name, but I'm asking if anybody remembers. Quite some years ago, there's a film that's like a black humor, very noir, like very, very ridiculous but great comedy. But it's like a black comedy, and it's from the uh, director Ning Hao, and it's called Feng Kuang the Shi Tou. Literally means the crazy stone. It's about a group of like. A, Multiple bad people group trying to do something bad, but eventually ending up actually making a just justified like a good ending, you know. Like so, it's a very dark humor kind of stuff. Um, Wei Fan's thing looks like a real life crazy stone, but crazier. And and everyone is like new how people are like calling his the director's name is like come come and grab this story and make make your next movie, but just based on reality, you don't even need to add stuff in it, and it's already crazy enough. Yeah, ha 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 ha. So Wei Fan's stuff, the couple of rumors that has come out after he got detained, which not confirmed at all. Okay, first is it involves other stars who are doing similar things. Like, so the first is it may involve drug. So once drug goes into the picture, it just is not gonna end good for anybody because China has one of the in in the entire world, you know, compared to other countries, China has the most strict law. And punishment against drug, okay, all types of. So if drug is involved in the whole thing, it will just like there's no hope, okay, for for him to walk free.、Um, so the first rumor is drug is involved, and it's the date rape type of drug that is what we call in China the third generation drug. So it's not it's not LSD, it's not like heroin or cocaine that type of thing, but the、um, The ones that are used for in clubbing and you know that type of thing. It's still con because it also has. If you cannot control the uh, uh, the amount of use, it could cause severe damage to your nerve system and your brain.、Um, basically, if you overdrug somebody, they die, or afterwards they have permanent damage in their brain. So that would also con be considered as.、Um, A dangerous substance, and if his thing has this to do with that, eh,、uh, toast. Okay. The only thing reason people are saying that is because the、uh, the account called Zhongguo Jindu, Chinese anti drug official,、um, social media account, reposted the police statement on Wei Fan, and they they don't really talk that much. That's the thing. That account usually stays very silent. It only posts stuff that's related to itself, which is anti-drug. So it's funny, right? <laughs> People are like, conspiracy theory is like, it, it immediately reposts the Chao Yang the police statement. So it just reposts. It doesn't doesn't add its own co comment on it. But people are thinking, why why you step out and do that, right? So it may has the first thing is may has something to do with drug. And it's not confirmed, but smells very fishy. Yeah, and 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 as you can imagine, if if the、uh, calling girls in in the name of you know selecting selecting actresses and then having big parties and then taking the drunken girl away, that that may involve that using of that. It's very likely, right?、And、the scenario makes a lot of sense. The second is it involves other singers, stars in this business. Um, not gonna name call here because it's not been confirmed. And then, and, and then some of the the singers already come out and with statements saying it's all rumor. So, 
wait for a couple of days, we'll see if anybody is actually really implicated. So it may have implicated some other people. Um, Did somebody just send me a contribution? Thank you. On my on my uh, website. <clears throat> Don't know if you're here. Can't see your name. Um, so that's one thing. Then it may have. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I didn't I didn't tell you Yan Jia. Okay, because in my in my video talking about entertainment business, the last bit I said even if it's your father, grandfather, generation big stars, just just don't just basically don't trust them. If you like their work, it's fine. And then that's it. Stop there. Don't don't give them the halo of like being perfect. Um, there's also rumor that the older, <laughs> older pack of um, established people are also implicated in this whole thing. But that's also a rumor, not name pointing anyone. Do not know who that's 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 being mentioned. So we shall wait for that also if that comes out ho, 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 ho. okay <laughs> wouldn't surprise me at all but but it will surprise a lot of people who do not know about this business um also there's some um, when we fans uh, the statement came out pretty much on the same night his account got closed his weibo account his super topic which is a hashtag that you can have in on Weibo, it's like you clicking and it has its own page, that type of thing for fans to gather. His super topic got closed. His other name super topic got closed too because he has multiple ones. And then a day or two later, people noticed um, one. There's one guy's Weibo that got cleared and closed. That guy is implicated in this entire Chris Wood thing as he might be the pimp person. He kind of is present at those occasions, uh, events, calling girls in. He because he 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 like in previous social media stuff. Um, he his account is called Jero Lee or something. He got closed down. But there's another person who got closed down and cleared Weibo, which is the director Guan Hu. Guan Hu has last year had two movies coming out that was very. Uh, got high profile okay but then he's been questioned within china actually for a long time by the public as <laughs> as 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 a type of what we call his bottom is sitting on the wrong kind of chair and wrong kind of side person and he is a part of the beijing television film circle that we fan belongs to um and a couple of years ago when we fan first came to china and from from korea and then started to show up in film and all, all kinds of things. He's one of those more sort of older generation uh, directors, more authoritative figure standing out, like out for him, promoting him, saying good things about him. And it's very, now you look back, it's super ironic. There's, in, there's some talk show he did with other people. And when they asked him, what is your view about WeFan? He said, we even grew outside of China, okay, on foreign land. And I can tell in his eyes, he's very clean. He has very clean soul behind his eyes. It's not so long ago, like four or five years ago, he said that. It, it, people, that video is everywhere in China. So he and other, a couple of other directors, such as Feng Xiaogang, are all belonging to the Beijing circle. And um, they have, they definitely are deeply intertwined with WeFan plus Xu Jinglei, also well known in China. And he, Guan Hu, Guan Hu's Weibo account got cleared and shut. So, police hasn't said anything, but is it because Xin Lang has heard, the, the Weibo has heard, he is also in this thing, he got implicated, therefore they just shut him down too. So if he is in this whole thing, then there may be more <laughs> older generation people in this whole thing. But then we do not know. We only know his social media account got canceled. That's it. No other thing coming out of official channel saying what, why, okay? Uh, 
<laughs> and also a couple of accounts historically have sided with Wei Fan during the years. Whenever there's a there's a girl like Du Meizhu coming out and saying he did this to me and blah blah blah, the uh the couple of accounts somehow all from women. Very sad. Also got cancelled and shut down. Um, the people who have publicly supported Wu Yifan when there's an accuser who came out and, and said something and then they uh, yeah, they said some very vicious things about the, uh, the, the, the accuser and so those couple of accounts are shut Ma Weiwei and Liu Liu, these two women one is a debater who is known in Qi Pa Shuo, the show uh, she once famously claimed the best benefit a star can give its fans is to fuck them. So fans is the best fuli reward or benefit that a star can give his fans. She once famously said that and she got shut down. And she sends out apology, yeah, a couple of days ago, and then said she's quitting, quitting this internet and whatever. So she's one of the person, and the other is a is a scriptwriter who wrote last year's "Find Your Home." You know, like I'll find you a best home or whatever. That's led by Sun Li, is it? I think so. It's it's her. Also, she wrote "What You Many Years Ago," very well known, uh, a scriptwriter. Yeah, and then. Back in 2016, when the Xiao Jina, that girl, came out and accused Wei Fan, this author wrote this Weibo post that is pretty stinky too. About um, about you sleeping with him is you trying to make yourself famous, leaving your name in the history as a whore, and um, and. Because of what you are doing now, you are stopping the future fangirls opportunity of being slapped by Wei Fan. She wrote that in her Weibo and she apologized and gone too, huh? It, it just shows, you know, whatever it is, think twice about what you say. How many years down the line something happens and then your previous words will get you destroyed? Think twice about what you say. Yeah, but but yeah, those two ladies, one author, one scriptwriter, one debater, mm, are <laughs> from from social media. Yeah. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well known, hey? Uh so those are the development from Chris Wood's thing. He's detained, he's detained, uh, then the drug thing may be related, maybe it implicates other stars, maybe it implicates even older generation of people. And then it also implicated a lot of other social media KOL who, key opinion leaders and you know, who have said inappropriate things previously. Also, also over 900 accounts on Weibo got, got shut down because they're found to be instigating fights on internet because of the Chris Wu thing. They go everywhere, they're like a robot or actually people, paid accounts going everywhere to 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 make, to add oil on fire basically. When there's the argument between this thing, between people, they go and make it worse. Those accounts, 990 of them got shut down by Weibo. So it's like pretty insane. Never happened like this before. And all Wu fans, Music, film, television, everything he, he's in is being taken down in China. And um, so the uh, you can't watch his film anymore. <laughs> it's no longer online. His music, you can't hear it. Uh, it's no longer on. Um, also, um, before his film got taken down on Douban, which is China's like IMDB type of website, all the films he's been in, his name, usually you have the uh, title of the project, you have the director, you have the leading actor's name listed, right? And his name got turned into 1337000. It turned into a number. It's no longer Wu Yifan. <laughs> it's like the everyone else has a human name and his name is just 1337000. 
People are joking. It's like, is that his number when he's in the um, in prison? Who knows? So this is one of like this is the biggest ever to extend of how severe it is in Chinese entertainment history. Never has happened to anybody before at this level. So golden hairpin is pretty dead. Um. <clears throat> The only foreseeable possibility of it getting re resurrected is they refilm everything that Wei Fan is in, which is how much money they have to add into that. If they digitally sh change his face, which may be possible, it's also going to be very expensive. At least, let's say, fifty million. Easy. Easy, 50 million in, in the budget just to AI shift. Because you have to find an actor to act every scene he's in. In the similar, imagine that, in the similar framing and lighting condition, and do that and then put that face onto that, that the, all the money that has to go into. And who would be willing, honestly, asking any actors out there, who'd be willing to do that job to put your face onto his body? It, which is now infamous in China as toothpick. Okay, so I don't see any guy would want to do that. If nobody want to face shift, contribute their face to Wei Fan's body, then that drama is dead. Or they just refilm it entirely. It's like every shot with with him in it, no matter if it's like big, like far away or like <laughs> close up. Just reshoot everything, and then they have to find an actor who would act to air because there will be no other actor on the other side to fill up all the shots. But he's the lead. He would be on camera all the time. So how do you refilm the entire thing? It's pretty impossible. That's the only two ways that this thing can get resurrected. Um, otherwise, garbage bin forever. Buried. I, I, I just don't see how how this drama. <sighs> Producer. I feel very bad about the production company, but then again, then again. For the entire industry, it's a good signal. It's saying, you know, do your freaking background research on the people you want you want to hire. You should have done that a long time ago. Why didn't you do it? Also, the, the, honestly, is in this industry, if you're in it, right, you're, you're in the environment, everybody around you, you have producers, you have actors who comes from everywhere, every day you meet those people. If there's a person who has such an infamous reputation or they do such things all the time, honestly, there is no way that the producer doesn't know. Unless like you're a producer today, like you weren't in the industry at all, you just came in this is your first project, you don't know anybody, which I don't see how that happens, but if that's the case, maybe. If you've been working in this industry for long enough, you know everybody's skeleton pretty much, and the reputation precedes you, you know, they all know, oh, that guy is the player. Because he's seen in those KTVs every night, and everybody who works in that industry knows, and you know, all those words go to everybody. The fact is, everybody knows who is doing what, okay? It's just, it's just, so as a producer, you still want to run the risk. You want to take it on, you want to say, but he is traffic, but he has very strong capital backing him up. He has big bosses behind him. He will be safe. And I know I use him, I get all the traffic. I get all the free promotion from the fandom troops. I don't even have to spend money and people will just go and do it for me. Well, then this is what happens kind of got, get what you deserve, okay? And you, if you tell me like those producers do not know like his reputation about like, <laughs> yeah, I believe that. <laughs> Even the people who work in the KTV business knows his reputation. Like how, how can you not know? Like I don't believe that. Mm, no. Particularly a project that has like hundreds of millions of RMB behind it, right? Even if you don't know, okay, let's say if you don't know, you just spend like half a percent, even less of your entire budget and hire anybody who's a little bit reliable investigator, go and, and, and 
you know, do a little bit background research and come back with a file and tell you this person's risk factors, how risky this person is. You, you'd know already. <laughs> Still though, they think they can do whatever. So karma is a bitch. <laughs> KW scandal is bigger than ZS. Yeah. Because ZS is still her personal thing, right? One is the one thing is about money. So whether it's money laundry involved, that's one thing. The other is the uh, surrogacy. But surrogacy is to do herself with herself and her husband and her child. That's it. They don't actually go out and kill people, like like do like severe criminal acts on other humans, right? Whereas this is a different thing. If it has drug involved, holy moly, okay, it's even bigger. So if you have rape plus drug involved, this is like uh, n the worst type. Mm. Well, so now that's how far this thing has gone. Um, let's hope Wang Fu's concert is gonna bring something to light. Put the hope, trust Wang Fu, trust his magic. We, we have uh, about Nine days, ten days to go before one more magic needs to happen again. I so wish it would make the entertainment business think twice and about everything. And and there's even like suggestions, which is I don't think it's ever gonna get implicated, like uh, implemented. But it's funny is people are like, maybe in the future, all the entertainment people, like actors and actresses and singers, they need to get licensed. They need to first apply for license and go through some kind of check to be able to debut and then work in the business. And then they're subjected to mandatory drug tests every half a year like they are as if they are sports athletes <laughs> maybe that will help the situation particularly the drug thing is like if you have to submit your hair sample every half a year in china that will kill the drug business of the uh the, the those players because they can't do it anymore and i was like ah oh, that doesn't sound like a bad thing actually <laughs> not so bad i mean quite acceptable right because if you become a Think about it, become a doctor, you need a license. Become a lawyer, you need a license. You freaking need a license to drive. Why is it okay for you to not get any qualification and just just earn tens and millions of money for like doing nothing? <laughs> Thank you for Kelly for, for your uh, super chat. Yeah, yeah. You know, sh we should leave the professional job to the professionals. Drama making, there are a lot of professionals. They know what works, what is good script, what is good acting. But then the money has been playing the game for too long and just manipulating everything. So like if there's a future sort of in China, I don't know if it's possible to have a licensing system for singers and, and actors and stuff. Uh, I'd be more than happy to see that. <laughs> Particularly the people who earn a lot of money, you know, like they, they, they speak for a brand and it's like 50 million RMB in their pocket every year for literally just taking a couple of photos and walk to a couple of shows and that's, that's their money. They go on those variety shows, you know, the whatever, like the um, <clears throat> travel or dancing or all kinds of variety shows they go to. They film for less than a month, usually, and they get 20, 30, even more million RMB. Literally for being themselves. Just live on camera, right? We're cooking, we're, we're traveling, we're talking, you know? I just, I, I, I'm on a trip, paying no money at all myself, paid by the, the program, and just live, just sleep, eat, walk, after a month, I get like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 million. Why the fuck is that okay? You know, when you think about that, it's so unfair, right? So if, if like say, if ever it's possible to have that kind of system, I'd be more than happy for it to, to 
It's fair. It's very fair. <clears throat> think about Olympic athletes. Think about think about the runners, the swimmers. They get tested all the time. Cause they they get big popularity. They get big money too. So they have to get the tests, right? Is it that is it not fair? Yeah, it's very fair. So why for the entertainment it is not? I think it makes a lot of sense for them to do that. Ah. <sighs> Cause it's just crazy. <laughs> it has run out of control these days. Yeah. So Chris, Wu, why he is he's picked? Um, that could be that because you don't know her his family background. Maybe you know this person knows that person. Cause China is a very Guanxi society. So it could be like the parents or who and who has some kind of connections and that's how they first enter this. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Ming, uh, you said, uh, upcoming. Yes, there's something, right? I remember that. Haven't haven't seen much news about it. It's been a while of that project's news. Cause recently, like like <laughs> the whole entire news is occupied by Chris Wu. I haven't seen anything. Qing Hao and, and, and Zhao Wei it definitely will be watch watchable for sure. Uh, just wait till like what, what it will turn out to be. Um thank you for super chat. Coming back to the Chris Wu thing, uh, the reason they picked him is um, he is the first one who came back from South Korea um, because of EXO's. You know, he 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 did the very very um, not very manly thing uh, uh, about quitting the band like eight days before their international tour, which is terrible to do. Um, but he is the first one who came back to China and immediately. Um, was in the film and then that came out next year. So pretty much I think while he was already in like when, when he was back in South Korea his parents or his mother or his like other team or stuff already arranged it for him. It's like a deal already done which is come back. You're gonna get much more money and much more fame and whatever. We're gonna you know like this is a better it's better than you being there basically and they've already got that ready so he he just suddenly disappeared and then got back to China. He's the first one. Later, you know, and in sequence, you know, later the other couple of people come back, which are now called the four, the four coming back to China. First, first round of um, idol, including Lu Han, Huang Zitao, Zhang Yixing, right? So they started this whole thing and Wei Fan is the first one. He is the first one who started the Liu Liang, the traffic, the idol operation in China. And it would be really fateful, right? He is the person who kind of started it and he would be the person who closed the door. When you think about that, the universe has a really great sense of humor and romanticism. Starts with you, end with you. Uh, couldn't be more sort of uh, obvious and intentional. Um, and the reason is there's some um, what we call Jing Chuar, Jing Beijing, capital city, Chuar Circle. So there's a Beijing Circle in the entertainment cultural um, business that are made up with um, a couple of people who have some kind of, some of them have what we call Da Yuan, which is uh, the type of, uh, it's hard to say what Da Yuan is. Da Yuan is either you belong to a branch of governmental organization or military or navy or air force or whatever. Um, and then the children of, so the parents generation are all serving in the important Beijing, mm -hmm, capital, China's top heart those big um, governmental organization branches, bureaus, their, their parents are there. And then they are the descendant who grow up in this environment called Da Yuan, which 
is belonging to, for example, if it's um, Air Force, if it's Kongjun Da Yuer or Hai Jun Da Yuer or this, you know, navies, they have their, if you work in there, you have, um, you, you have like the, your house and where you live is like close to each other and it's in the compound and all the children from those parents are growing up in that environment and a lot of the from the 70s, 80s onwards the the people who hold the flags of let's say the uh, Chinese uh, cultural content the top players uh, they all have that type of background like they often are, are the children of their parents generation who are in those mm -hmm. so they're called the Da Yars descendants and then some of them um, have like really big influence today now because they're in their 50s, 60s, 70s they're old now in this business and they started like so they created their inner circle it's like all the graduates from Harvard, Harvard or the Ivy League you know they have their own mm -hmm, circles S similar thing so Jing Char is made up by some of the people who come from that background and then they keep getting new people they absorb new like directors, writers, actors into the circle and they become um, they have their own ideas about their superiority to others so for example Jing Quan and Shanghai Quan are two like the Hu Char so the Shanghai circle is a different circle Beijing is a different circle and these circle two people never cross and they don't give each other even an eye like they're they laugh at each other's pro projects and productions. They literally look down upon each other, and it's very, <laughs> yeah, it's it's very. So the Jingchar people never even give like they think the Shanghai are just merchants. You know, you're merchants. We are from the capital. We're we're the aristocrat. We're the political line. We are. You know, some of them even have like, in in the Beijing circle, they're mentoring. Um, descendants people who are you know like the Qin dynasty <laughs> that is also mingled in it so the so-called they have their own aristocratic ideas about who they are so so all that so Jing Char have a couple of people today who are very powerful not like back in the beginning there are other people but the circle updates and changes so currently a couple of very well-known name including Feng Xiaogang the director who did Feng Hua, the film that I did a review on, who also did many years ago a lot of more famous comedy kind of film, who recently did the uh Yuan, the crossroad bistro that just got that's got that just got trashed by internet in China. Uh, so he is one of the big figures in this circle. It also would include Jiang Wen, although Jiang Wen doesn't quite play with these people. It, uh, one of the most important is a writer called Wang Shuo. Uh, Chinese literature reader would all know him. He's a colorful figure, <laughs> to put it very mildly. Okay, so Wang Shuo. And Wang Shuo has very tight relationship with Xu Jinglei, the female director slash actress. I think most of the people would have heard of her. She's very well known, Xu Jinglei. And then Wu Yifan's first film when he got back to China is directed by Xu Jinglei. And Xu Jinglei knows what good acting is or not because she, she's a proper actress before she becomes an actor, uh, director. And she says he is great and he has whatever. I'm like, you're so not talking. Like, you're so just... You're so intentionally promoting him because... You, he is now in the circle. It's the Beijing circle. So for whatever reason, we do not know exactly why Wu Fan got absorbed into this Beijing circle, but he is. And they use him as the hottest front, storefront. Okay, so he is the one who goes out and do those things and garners so much popularity and money for them. And what they do is... Um, they, they they sign up those big name stars, right? Like Wu Yifan. And then they put their companies, IPO, they go to stock market. They use different shell companies to go up there. And then because of whatever, you know, like we have this star, we have that star and investors are stupid or whatever. They cut money from the financial market. And it's an easier way 
than making movies because making movies years right In preparation for a couple of years film it for a year comes out so much work and you get like that little bit of money at the end why do that you know why not cut, cut the money from stock market so they've been cutting stock market for years by by doing this so that's why they sign up with those like Chris Wu who you know he can't act he can't sing he can't dance he can't do anything he just looks kind of good which is only for a couple for a proportion of human humanity who thinks he looks really good I am not one of those but I understand why people think he looks very good and they use that as their puppet to get them you know, the, 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 the fake bubble of, wow, we sign up with this big star, we're gonna get so much money, so come invest. So most of the money they get are all the cap, it's like Jin Rong Char, it's like the finance game, really. It's, it has nothing to do with entertainment now because they use him not because he's a good actor, because he comes out and makes their stock market go high. That's the only reason that they would have those popular young young guys absorbed into their circle it just makes easy money every year you look at your book you look at their reward it's like wow you know we didn't even do anything <laughs> we just get like free money so that, that that's what is going on behind him and now obviously they're just all cutting him off like <laughs> So depending on how deep this case can go, how deep the digging can go, right? If it keeps going, then it's going to pull out all those things. And for the couple of big capital investment companies that's in this game, in the last year or two, they are already being heavily, heavily impacted by first the Fan Bingbing case of the, the tax evasion thing that has already affected them. And then because of the... Um, mm, um, there's a couple of policy change that has happened recently which heavily restricts entertainment cultural business it restricts capital's involvement basically closing the doors for the possibility of using the the financial markets method to to manipulate the entertainment business so that has also affected them quite badly really starting from last year in 2019 it's already happening so at this point all those big money behind him is already bleeding themselves to death already so like they would have no really ability or they can't even think about him really to save him they have to save themselves now so it kind of also happened because because the the money behind this type of operation now is in trouble therefore the front guy falls because there's no longer a very strong um, thing that he can rely on. It is in itself kind of like shattering. Therefore, Chris Wu shatters with it. So those are the more, <laughs> more behind the scene kind of story going on. So it's never just, just that you know tip of iceberg you see. It's always just so much more effed up, but messy. Mm yeah so it will do Tencent a lot good for it to open its eyes and see what what the wind is blowing in what direction and do something about its operation because Tencent has been also playing the the the, the, the traffic game idol game for too long burn hey burn <sighs> why do I look happy well like a bad guy deserves what like what, what do you think he doesn't deserve what happens to him it's sad it's a sad story personally speaking very sad you, you can think about like I can imagine what he has gone through in his life um, particularly like when he was like less than 10 years old and the mother immigrated to Canada that was like a long time ago 2000s early 2000s and growing up here not having really friends moving all the time with her mother have no one else apart from her his super controlling freak control freak mother I, I i understand like that's a terrible life to live but it's still not an excuse of of later you just you just give up on yourself 
And I mean, you can say it. Probably the the family background, the mother, and all that is a huge part of why he becomes what he is today. But still, after becoming an adult, you know, you you have the freedom, you have the right to say, "I don't want to continue that kind of life." You you have the ability to run away from it. You have the ability to to not become what you are today. Nobody forced you to do those things, you know. So. For for him, he's just like a symbol, you know, because he's not the only one. And in terms of the games they play, like the girls and the selecting girls and the drug thing, <laughs> so many more people are doing that in this business. It's just that they're not found out yet. That's it. Um, it's not just him. It's so many other people. But that's just one small small thing about this whole thing, you know. Like also, also all the money game behind it. That's like. I'm happy to see that I got also kind of in, it will it will get impacted by this right so that's a good thing for the for the longevity and health of the entire entertainment and cultural content pr producing business. So his thing is not just his thing; it has just become so much bigger now. 工具人. Everyone is tool person. Everyone is just a tool for the entire grand saga of universe that universe wants to write. Yeah, whatever the the chapter is, this chapter is the entertainment business. So pick a couple of tool person and let's play with it. I mean, like a fandom and idol, all that is like if it makes you happy, it's all fine. But but always just be like ha leave a little bit of space, you know, in your head to 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 maneuver. When shit happens, you you accept it's it's a risk, and you're like, yeah, it's fucked up. Now I move on, and then it's okay. I mean, who does not like looking at good looking people? <laughs> to be honest, all right, at this age. As a woman, I am pretty shameless about admitting. Wow, I just like looking at young, good-looking guys. Hey, <laughs> wow, it's good-looking face. Wow, that that app is good. Like, I I will not hide from that. Yeah. So, but I understand. Like, like if I do that, I just keep it on that level. I would I wouldn't let it go here or go here, right? It mostly just stays on on the kidney, <laughs> if you know that. Chinese medicine, uh -huh. <clears throat> sex and kidney are, are 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 linked together, but basically you just, just just don't allow it to invade your this part, right? Or this part, and other parts are all fine. <laughs> you know, like take 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 the position as the empress, and you have a you have a digital and virtual harem. As a woman, okay, so I'll just think of myself as an empress who has a who has a mental harem of all those good looking guys in this world. Okay, for my liking. But an, a real emperor would never give the heart to any particular harem concubines, because there are more important things. That is running their empire. Okay, <laughs> that is how successfully historical kings and, and 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 rulers have done. Right? Take that, take that attitude, and you're fine. You can idol. You can get idol any idol in this world. Fine. But you're just here to serve me, okay? Once you run out of your use, <laughs> bye. Yeah, and and if you want me to work for you, right? To do data for you, to vote for you, to to spend money like crazy on you, <laughs> you're daydreaming. <clears throat> It's just me. I I never really buy any of their spokes. Sort of like if there's anybody's like I like, they speak for a product. I don't buy them for that reason. I only buy because I happen to need. For example, I happen to need a foundation, and I can pick between double wear or power fabric. 
Okay, and then it happens to be, uh, you know, like Gong Jun is 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 like on, on the Amarni side. Okay, then I go, and that's the only reason I would buy it. It has to sync up. It just happens to be I need something, and I don't really have a preference. And you happen to be, you know, speaking for that brand. Okay, I was like, oh, okay, I can go for that. That that would be the only occasion when these things happen. If it's any other situation, I would never buy anything just because, you know, for a particular actor or actress or whatever, I like this person and I'll buy their product. I'm like, nope. <laughs> if I don't need it, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and but that's me. Okay. Mango TV is trash. Oh, all the big platforms. Also, for the people, somehow, okay, for whatever reason you want to side with a particular platform, don't. It, it's weird, okay? When I say something bad about Tencent, people get all... I, I'm like, why? Why are, you, why are you siding with this kind of a conglomerate company? What are you thinking? It's like you, you're speaking for Jeff Bezos for being so filthy rich and you think it's all good. Like, why? <laughs> why? As long like I can't think of any other reason apart from you're employed by them, like they pay your bill. That's the only reason you would speak for them. Otherwise, like no sane individual person would be speaking for this type of monopolizer in this world. <laughs> so, so like Yoku behind it is Alibaba, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which is huge. Tencent behind it is Tencent. Aichi behind it, it's Baidu, Mango it's Hunan Television, um, just just <laughs> for individual person unless you work for them right there's no reason you should speak for them at all like whatever just just think of them in the worst way you can imagine okay and and I guarantee you they're worse <laughs> they they move beyond your imagination about how shameless they are they're just here to make money they have no heart. Do you think like Amazon has heart or Apple has heart or Facebook has heart? No, Google has heart? No, what are you thinking? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, he doesn't pay tax, Jeff Bezos. And <laughs> isn't that ridiculous? I have to pay thousands of thousands of dollars every year. All kinds of tax. All kinds of tax. And I earn just that little bit more. <laughs> and then these people, their income is like billions, billions. They don't even pay a dime. Like, why is that okay? This world is weird. Yeah, so so don't as an individual person side with any platforms, okay? Understand that you are the customer, they provide the service you want, but then they have so much more power honestly in this world than you. Um, and um, you are already in every way at disadvantage. So if you speak for them, it's kind of ludicrous, it's stupid, okay? It's just plainly stupid. And they will be very happy. <laughs> And they will suck your blood dry, the last drop of it, without mercy, when they get the chance to do that. So, <laughs> ha ha. <sighs> I want a BL to come out this month, probably more than most of people. Because I feel very, very... The drama that are ongoing, the dramas that I'm watching, I'm not saying they're not good. They're pretty good, like most of the BG dramas I'm watching. They're very enjoyable. But they're so lukewarm. They're so la lacking 
stimulants. And maybe it's also because just reality is too exciting now that the drama is just boring. I want, I want something at least that can get my hormone running a bit. <laughs> In this love, thank you for your super chat. So, <clears throat> whatever it is, you know, Hao Yixing or Sha Po Lang or uh, Zhang Gong An or any other I haven't even like thought of that they're coming out suddenly, fine, just just chuck it at me. <laughs> Give me a little bit change, like a for <clears throat> um some excitement, really. Just just looking for that. No. Because it's not because it's BL, therefore it's a good. It's because if it's BL, it naturally has a, a couple of uh, um, aspects that's easy to make it more exciting or more more worth, let's say, digging at, right? Like you 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 um you microscopic analyze stuff, and it makes you it just makes you feel like you're taking part in it. Basically, you're participating. Um, feel is is much more stronger than the other other things that are ongoing. Not saying they're not good. I mean, Remembrance is really good drama. One of the best I've seen recent years of its genre. But when you watch that drama, you mostly are just you mostly are feeling with the act uh, the, the the because you're so similar. You're living a life that's so similar to the characters living, so their struggle becomes yours, and it sometimes it's just. It's a different type of stabbing your heart that, that maybe it's not that enjoyable. I don't know how many people are caught up with that drama, but by the end of episode 8, when Zhou Yutong's character's cat got thrown out, literally by, by her uh, aunt, I was like, I went berserk. I was so angry. I just wanted jump into the drama and just shake that woman and was like who the fuck do you think you are so that type of it's also very strong emotional reaction of that drama but i don't really want it all the time like once i see a drama like that i i do this i say all the good things about it and i don't necessarily want to experience it again because it's just too painful I think for BL, the good thing about it is there's always a distance between that experience and you. You don't really ever experience what happens in Word of Honor or Untamed or Guardian or, you know, Hao Yixing, whatever. But it's still very dramatic. So you have that, that viewer's safety belt, you know, but then you're still enjoying it. You can bring yourself in, but not truly getting the same. So you take the good part of the suffering, but you don't take the bad part of the suffering. Whereas when you watch Remembrance, that type of very realistic drama about very realistic people's life and you feel like, I am fucked up too. <laughs> and you don't necessarily really want to experience that all the time. That's just how I look at it. Therefore, I want some exciting stabbing on my emotional <laughs> body, but in the, in the detached way. So BL is very detached, but very enjoyable. Whereas the other type of dramas, oh, sometimes it just like, it really hit you. And then you're like, I don't actually want it. Yeah, how many people are like that, I'm wondering. Oh my God, that's so terrible. For Q, Dan, 25. For the parents who, 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 who take the pets away from children. Uh, ooh. It's like one of the worst. It's, sometimes that also happens with toys, right? You have a toy you really like, and then a friend's, a friend, your parents' friend kid comes to your home, and they like it, and your parents are like, oh, just give it to, to this, 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 you know, younger brother or sister, and you're like, why? What? You know, those things happen on, on screen and it makes you go burn and like you burn up. And it's 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 cool, but then it's not really that enjoyable. <laughs> Whereas BL is like, oh, wow, uh, they're, they're in so much pain, but it's so enjoyable on my end. And <laughs> I am so twisted, but I like it. Thank you for super chat. Another one? You don't have to do that. I've heard about that movie, but I also heard a lot of people hated it. 
because because they think the promotion is intentionally misleading about the two re two characters relationships i haven't i haven't watched it because i can't it's not it's not on where i am so i have to wait for the digital version to come out okay i need to go away for a few minutes and i'll come back and then talk a little bit and then end this Okay, so wait for me for a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so. Oh, I think what I, I've said everything pretty much that has happened this week that is <laughs> epic, <laughs> worth talking about. How is my fridge? Uh, he's okay. Ever since last year, it got um, it got some operation. It's been working okay. Hopefully, <laughs> it won't give me an, another episode. And don't buy Samsung fridges, okay? Just don't. It's not good. Get other things, not Samsung. <laughs> it's it's bound to go bad. It has a it has a design def uh, defect that they didn't fix, so it it's in there all the time. <clears throat> GL, mm -hmm. I'm not saying GL isn't having a market, but GL, I I see it probably work better for film instead of television because television is still trying to hit the big demographics right and then um first it's a good gl is is hard to come by the story itself and then honestly um the majority of um drama watchers are female in china across all um demographics the the grandparents generation the parents generation the younger the even younger mostly and these days when you make this type of young drama you you're mostly looking at the web market web drama not going on satellite not really aiming at mid-age parents or even older generation and then then for your targeted audience most of them will be young or like you know say say from 15 to 35 or 40 women and in that in that potential audiences right who what is the proportion of of women who would be really that into gl you have to think about that probably not that big a market so money making wise i i'd say 
doesn't sound like very good business. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope like yeah that oh. <clears throat> yeah seventy percent of I think over seventy percent of drama watchers are female. There's there's there is a research. I can't remember where I saw it, but I think it's very valid because most of the young guys are playing games. They're on PlayStation, they're on their console, on their phone, on their computer. <laughs> they're not watching dramas. Modu don't have much to say because there's hardly any news. They're they're making it, that's all you know. Zhang Xincheng looks good. And he has lost so much weight for Fei Du. So for that, I really just give him he looks good, but I'm very worried about the other guy. Okay? For Modu, Modu, Luo Wenzhou, Fu Xinbo just mm. Mm, no. <laughs> Honestly, I look at him and I, I and I can't feel any Danme vibe. Okay, Danme B L Danme. It has first to first and foremost, May. Beautiful. Beautiful. Obsessed about beauty is B L's original meaning. Okay. I I, regardless of everything else, first it has to be beautiful. You have to give me really good looking people. Fu Xinbo just, again, definitely not my cup of tea, okay? And then after I've seen him in ancient love poetry, I, I'm more worried than ever. <laughs> I'm like, uh, can't, no, not working. I, I'm just working, I, I'm just worried about the yan zhi part of that drama. <laughs> Just, just the most superficial level of things. So, Modu, hey, not, not sure what's gonna happen with that one. Longest promise. What is that? Yu Gu Yao. Is that the, the one that just just wrapped? Yeah, they wrapped yesterday. <sighs> Honestly, for that, that entire genre of dramas, I don't care who is in it, I'm pretty much like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's definitely a genre that I have, I have, I have totally, I think, I think the last drama in that genre that I was ever able to be able to emotionally kind of respond to was still the 2019 Love and Death, yeah, Love and Destiny. After that one, I never was able to respond to any of that genre drama anymore. It's been two years. I don't know if that's like it. I don't know if it's that that, that, that personally that stage is gone now, so I will never be able to anymore. Or it's just waiting for an, another drama that is able to do that to me. Ever since Love and Destiny, my interest in that entire genre has kind of like totally, totally run out. It's gone. <laughs> I I look at the, the 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 super like any Xiu Xian, any god, mm, superpower, magic, period setting, having having powers, and then like lifetimes and lifetimes of love story. That right? that kind of recipe you show me, I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's like I have eaten too much of that. Now can we just have something new? Um, but it's just me. So, for this entire style and type of drama. I, I, I just look at it as like, okay, it's another project. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens. And it's, it's, I can't, I, I, what can I do? It's just, it's just, I, I cannot really fight that either. It's just like a natural, it's like once you get to age, you can't really age backward, you know, that type of thing. So that that genre needs like a rebirth a, a new wave of way of doing that um <clears throat> right now they're all just chao long fan they're all just stir fry the cold rice everybody is stir fry the cold rice over and over look at how similar character setup the stories are like everything is like copied from other five dramas of the same genre and just just take this piece take that piece and then put them together everything is like um 
<laughs> people are just copying each other in all kinds of ways. So. Got really bored about that, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. There are many, many this type of dramas that are still being made this year. And so they will come out next or the year after. We still have quite a few Xinxia. And mostly because they, they just don't want to invent, reinvent or do something exciting about it. Everything is uh, comes with lifetimes of setup, you know? Uh, I love you, you love me, we die, we rebirth, or get reborn and we love each other again and some misunderstandings. Oh, we have to go and save the world because the world is crashing. Uh, the, the, <laughs> you know, and the heaven is going to crash, the human world is going to crash, the demon's world is going to dis get destroyed, everybody is gonna die, uh, somebody has to come out and then sacrifice themselves, oh, and we wait for another 300 years and then come back again, happily ever after, it's like, ah, come on. It's so boring. <laughs> Every drama is pretty much like that. <laughs> it's like, why am I watching this? It's just changing different actors and change their costumes. And then it's just like the same story over and over and over again, no, oh, no, bye. <laughs> So, <sighs> okay, I've just successfully thrown out two of my hairbands. Good. Oath of Love? What, what is Oath of Love? What are people asking about it? It's a drama that is supposed to air in September, but we don't know if it really is gonna happen. Prior to airing, announcing, announcing it a month ahead these days is pretty much like saying it's no guarantee. <laughs> but we're just saying that so that it makes you feel better. It has been like this for how many years now? Two, three years where drama just show up. And any kind of pre-scheduling kind of does not work until it actually airs. So you, you, can, you can hope for September, but... If it doesn't show up, don't get surprised. Mm. And in terms of Oath of Love itself, uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm worried about it because um, music playing and hospital, <laughs> okay, two led minefield of Chinese contemporary dramas. So far, nobody has really done justice to these two professions at all in the track record of Chinese dramas. Let's say in the recent five or even ten years, like really proper drama showing what doctor's life is like or how things are done, like professionally speaking, accurate, represented. And then music playing, holy shit. <laughs> I mean, lucky that Yangzi is playing a ch cellist and he's doing that. If he's doing this, I, I already see two set violins are gonna go at it, okay? They're gonna go at it. <laughs> And for all those string music instruments, th these are the things you can't fake. They're so hard. Like even if you go and learn it for a month, you still cannot fake of being a good player. I mean, piano is much easier to fake, but this is violin is like, no, 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 you can't fake it. And cello is like, also can't fake it. It's like, look at how huge that thing is and how hard it is to play. I know a cellist, um, I've met him, um, like who, who used to live here now he's moved away and he's a really good one but even like he studied it in university as his major and he is in the conservatory and even that is like <clears throat> once he went away to to travel for half a month right and then when he comes back he's like I need like half a month to pick this up again because I haven't played it for half a month and now I sound like shit <laughs> as he's playing it's like this is wrong that is wrong this is not good so for people who are doing it for a professional job they are they they are already like that how do you fake it if you it's not your job you can't so it will look very bad on on camera unless they actually don't show you or they use fully fully body double um it, it <laughs> I'm just really worried about those two. Like, I, I don't have confidence, basically. 
in music playing and in, in medical drama in, coming out of China because they just don't nothing looks good not nothing looks right like how they dress what what the doctors and nurses are allowed to wear and not allowed to wear like not even that is is properly represented in dramas for example you can't have long nails like this you can't as a doctor or nurse it's just forbidden you can't wear rings in any like if you're working at all because it's forbidden it's not hygienic your hair has to be tied in a particular way. You can't just have your long hair running wild like that. Your coat has to be buttoned up. It cannot be opened in any way just to make you look cool. No, like those basic things in Chinese hospitals don't even look correct on camera. Like, like what else can you expect? <laughs> Hope for, right? For medical dramas, I <laughs> just like screaming for trouble. And so when those type of drama comes out, likely they're gonna get so many renting stuff, videos. Plus, plus these days, it has become like, um, becomes a politically correct thing to rent about Xiaoja. <laughs> Particularly on Billy Billy, okay? If you go on Billy Billy, it's like everyone, whenever he shows up, there's some kind of special treatment. This is the overall atmosphere that is working that that is happening today so <laughs> for that drama it's just very wor worrisome for every every possible landmine it's gonna step on but then we will have to first like see if it actually airs <laughs> yeah csi or but at least CI, CSI, that kind of like dramas cases are often very exciting to watch. <laughs> Whereas a lot of Chinese dramas are like the plot is not good either. Representation is wrong too. And they're, they're eventually, ultimately, it's all just about a love story. Ah. <laughs> uh. Why is everyone ranting about him? Because he he's he is whatever he like like the thing is whether he like it or not or whether he has really personally done anything. The thing is he is now a symbol of um of uh let's say idol or fandom fandom's actions that 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 destroys other people's. So basically, it's like there there is different circles of, of cultures and subcultures and stuff and I, I wouldn't go and annoy you and you don't come and annoy me and then we have our own sort of you know it's fine but he now is because because of what happened last year he is like the the person people think of when they think about um, you step out of your line and then ruin other people's stuff and other people haven't done anything wrong to you but you destroy you burn their back garden so um yeah so he is um that's why he gets this type of treatment because billy billy's beginning billy billy beginning started with the art student started with animation started with anime started with the two-dimensional world right manga anime it started with the subculture circle and it becomes what it is today but its origin and background is is in that therefore um it's it's politically correct to 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 do that <laughs> billy billy yeah and like i said many a long time ago in my other streams honestly chinese entertainment business is so big there are so many people in it and years and years you see new people coming in new faces show up and they they take away you know the, the waves keep coming the new ones keep coming um everyone is replaceable oh uh -huh. you know like in the game of things in the idea of the capitals right like the big companies behind it whatever tencent or whatever those production companies and all their like you know like the chris wu thing right chris wu is just the puppet that's standing in front of so no other idol is in any way that special in respect to this operation they're all like this whether it's Xiao Zhang or Wang Yibo or any other people really um, they're put in front so that they can they are the dangling carrot to get all the money 
in. And one day anything happens to them, they're no longer usable, get a new one, place it in. People are forget, very forgetful. This is the reality of the business. Yeah. <sighs> and kind of like if you play the game, you're in the game, you know what you're in for. So you kind of have to accept it. It just works like that. Rise and fall, you know, um, it is what it is. <clears throat> and he does have some crazy fandoms too, like some really, really, <laughs> I don't want to talk about those people. Uh, and plus there are other people who pretend to be his fans, but are not, but then are in this so that they make the fight look even uglier so that they can benefit from it. Like there's always this type of people, right? <clears throat> so. It has become, like I said, a black hole and a huge one and it keeps getting bigger and more shit energy goes into it. So it has become something that nobody wants to touch anymore. So honesty is when this drama comes out, I probably wouldn't be talking about it either on my channel. Cause, cause you don't want to suddenly one day waking up and then there are like 5,000 messages in your box trying to, trying to say, go, go to hell. <laughs> from whoever, from whichever side, you know, this is very exhausting now. It has become a really retiring thing. It's like, whether it's his supporter or whether his anti fans or his anti fans pretend, pretending to be supporters or supporters, like whatever, you know, wherever you come from, it, it's like <laughs> for my mental peace, I'll just like not talk about it. <laughs> but there are very like the, 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 this whole thing is just so tangled. It's like the, uh, the, the wool, the ball that's been played by a million cats. And to the point, like, apart from cutting it or just burning it, there's no way of sorting it out anymore. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. <coughs> for, for, for the safety, for personal safety, okay? Like his dramas, I would not be mentioning them. <coughs> it really can go crazy. I, I've had a taste back in 2018, so I'm not gonna like let let that happen again. Cut all the possibility of that ever happen, happening again. For old, old, long time viewers, you know what happened in 2018, right? And that wasn't like back then. It wasn't as bad as today. Like in terms of like um, <coughs> Drew Long's fandom. I mean, I mean, not as crazy. Okay. <laughs> Even that is like too much to, to, to experience once. So I'm not gonna try to experience it twice. It's not worth it. It's so not worth it. It's just, whatever it is, it's just a drama. Like even for the dramas I like, I would say Guardian, you know, like, or like for when Untamed was airing, I liked it a lot. Afterwards, uh, it kind of it ex exited my system really quickly. Okay, I'd say it, I didn't have like long term sort of impression of it. Word of Honor, I like it very much, but now I'm I'm much much back like normal hormone level now. So so they all happened and then they go away, and that's 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 it. <clears throat> And I think, I think that that makes more sense to, 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 to have that more, it's a more healthy attitude towards these things. <clears throat> uh, also there, there's probably other things going on behind the Xiaojian thing that we will never find out. Um, certain informations, because this is always asymmetrical information. The public never knows all the things. You don't know the full picture. You don't know what is going on exactly. What like you never know, and I, <clears throat> I don't, I don't have proof, but I, I've, I've, I've heard here and there that there's more going on about this whole thing behind it than what 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 is known. So in that case, you can further you can't really understand what is going on because you don't have all the information, right? So just just. Keep, keep, keep a distance from that will be the best thing to do. <sighs> and uh, also I think ever since 2018, I never made, no, I made one, did I? 
No, I don't make I don't make um videos on specific actors anymore. I mean on Billy Billy, like the edits I do. I have done one for Zhu Yilong, I've done one for Bai Yu, I've done one for Liu Haoran, I think. Many years ago I did one for James McAvoy. <laughs> but but I will never do just for one actor stuff anymore. Because crazy people are out there, okay? And if you've done a video that's just for one actor, one day, if that actor did something terrible, it is somehow your fault that you didn't foresee it many years ago and you get like millions of messages trying to kill you, which is just ridiculous. But this is what it's like now. Ha ha ha. We live in a weird world. Uh, so another 10 minutes and I'll be, I'll be out. It's already two hours and eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can love 2D characters and particularly the finished, like if it's a series of manga or book, like if it's ended and then there's no future chapters, you can love them fully and safely and those are the safest people to like because they will never betray you and they will not, never change. <laughs> Pre-order the Tianguan Sifu English edition. What is that? Book? Drama? <clears throat> I uh... For Tianguan Sifu's book, I am okay with it, but I am not a huge fan of it. And I think like there's a huge chunk of it that's really long. It's like a long road movie that just has too many things happening. I'm like, uh, uh, come on, come on, move on, move on, move on. What is the what is the key plot? So many people's stories. This people, that person. Okay, oh, this shows up. Oh, okay. There's the subplot that is so big, you know, and then. And like I said, I never felt the two leads are at any point being really threatened by anything. Even when it got to the end of it, like Tianguan Sifu, right? Before the end of it, when when they have to face off the supposedly the big boss, I still was like, eh, this is okay. This is not too bad. Clearly, they're gonna win. <laughs> Clearly, it's all gonna be fine. I can so tell it's gonna be safe. Therefore, I was never worried. So while I was reading Tianguan Sifu, I was just like, you two guys are just like chill chill i know you you've both had like really terrible past but now it's kind of all all good now <laughs> i just look at you two and you sprinkle sugar along the way sugar a little bit sugar a little bit sugar there sugar there although it's overall quite effed up everyone's life is in this in this story still i never felt they're they're really threatened in any way so it was a very relaxed story. <clears throat> well, if the author, well, I wouldn't say so. Like say if I, there, there are a lot of books that are really nice, but then the author later got found out as, I, I still think the book doesn't get affected. I, I wouldn't feel that way really. Hao Yixing, I didn't read that book. I only, I know what happens. Like I've, I've read people's summaries of it. So I know like, a, like why the story is the way it is, who is who and why they do the thing. And I just find it so crazy. It's like lifetimes and lifetimes and this timeline and that timeline. And it's like, oh. and that thing is like 101.5 million Chinese characters. Oh. <laughs> Uh, no, it's longer than Tianlong Babu. I uh, I can't read that. Uh, too long. Thank you for K Seling 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 Chun Chun. Yeah, because that's the character, right? Is that Chun? No, I can't tell. It's too small on my screen. Anyway, thank you for super chat. Mo, rate Modu. Modu when the drama comes out. 
before, like once the drama is finished and I'm ready, I will go finish that book and then I'll, I'll, I'll remember because I've read the beginning of that book. <clears throat> I didn't continue, but I know it has a lot of quite crazy cases. I, I didn't finish the whole thing. I will. <laughs> when it's the time to do that. MXTX, what is that? Is it stand for... Oh. Really? Yeah, the, the scum. <laughs> the, 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 I know, Zijiu, I know that, that story is very well known. Huh, really? Oh, An Le Zhuan. Legend of An Le has new, new leaked set of photos too. I have a, I, a friend of mine is a huge Gong Jun fan, so new picture of him on set. <clears throat> Very blurry, but he has his hair up, all up. Zhao <coughs> Ge. Oh, Mo Xiang Tong Xiao. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the author's name. Okay, what else? Let's see. Have a couple of minutes more. What does the flute represent in Chinese culture? It's just an instrument. <laughs> Nothing special. It's just an instrument, a bamboo instrument that's easy to carry. <clears throat> now, often you see a picture of the uh, cowboy, like the really boy, like the little boy who is who's having a buffalo on, on his side and or sometimes he he rides a buffalo and plays a flute. That's like a very countryside traditional image in China. But flute itself is just um, a pipe instrument. Doesn't have too much special meaning attached to it. But it's I, I think those type of like instrument actually are, are um, it's just so easy to carry them, right? You can take them anywhere. You can just put it on yourself. Whereas everything else pretty much too big to carry easily. I don't watch Thai BL because I have no time, but I know them. I also know the very well-known one. The first series was great. The second series just offended all its audiences. It had a crush second series. And I was like, oh, thank heavens I didn't get into the first one. Because <laughs> I, I, I imagine that would be a, like a very big emotional um, suffering. Like for, for any people who love the first series, they would be so devastated by the second one. So might as well, it hasn't happened before. <laughs> you know which one I'm talking about, right? Yeah, in, in dramas, flute is, some people said, it's just because it's easy for the characters to carry. So if they're fighting other people, you know, like it makes sense, they carry an easy thing instead of like a huge one that they can't move around. Oh, the BKPP, yeah, 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 the BKPP one. <laughs> it's very well known in China, very, very well known. Everybody I, I, I kind of follow kind of watches that one. And I didn't, and I'm like, maybe I, I shouldn't. Because, <laughs> you know, like, how would I take it, right, if I like it? And then I know the second season is, like, crap. It, it would be very, very sad. Yes, I, I've seen Sha Po Lang's leaked photos. I've seen leaked video, even. 
because it got leaked and it did deleted. And there's also a GIF of it, of of Chen Zheyuan standing on the top of the, the the city wall, like the big walled gate. And it's war, right? It's fighting. It's smoke everywhere, and he's like crying and slamming his hands on the wall and and shouting at Gu Yun down there. Like I I've seen that too. <laughs> so I know I I'm waiting for that drama too. Who knows when it's gonna come out? Shapola. <sighs> Uh, what else? Son of Youth? Son of Youth, maybe not. Don't want to really promote that drama in any way. Um, also, it's just so... It's so Yu Zheng! It has no logic. Nobody does anything that makes any sense at all. And I... You know Yu Zheng should do what? He should just leave the script to a proper script writer. If he still want to work in this business, just be a producer in the background, picking the actors, you know, picking who is good looking for what, and then deciding what the look of the drama should be. That's okay. Like the aesthetics, the costumes, the sets, whatever, the color palette, I, yeah, he can do that. And just leave the freaking actual script alone. Because when he doesn't touch the script, like Winter Begonia, it's all good. When he touches the script, Nothing makes sense. His writing does not make sense. The character setup does not make sense. People's behaviors does not connect. They literally are only conveniently doing things in the particular scene because the scene wants them to do this, because, not because they are this type of person and you can think through of their logic. They don't have logic. They just do whatever they want for that particular scene, okay? They could be saying this is black in one scene and then they would be saying this is white in another. It's the same person with no particular obvious change that has happened to them and it does not make sense. That's Yu Zheng's writing. He just does not make sense. <sighs> Thank you for your super chat. or I can't pronounce the name. Thank you. As long as it's entertaining you, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, Yu Lou Chun, Song of Youth. My quick word about it is it's bad writing, but it's very uh, lovely costume to look at. And it's not accurate, like 100% accurate to the dynasty, which is Ming that it's describing, but it's the closest to being correct we've seen in the history of Chinese dramas, okay? Um, particularly the women's clothes are more accurate for the guys, um, for Son of Youth, there is a problem that is very rudimentary, which is, a lot of the male like adults you see in this drama, they only have their hair up like this, right? In the bum. And it's just like this. And they go out and walking. And that will never happen. Because traditional Chinese society for a guy, they have to have their hair up and then they have to wear a guan, which is like a metal or a jade or whatever wood material that goes around this and it has a pin that goes through it. And that is considered the dress for the hair. And out, outside of that, you have to wear a type of hat. It could be a lot of different shapes in Ming Dynasty. It could be almost translucent. It could be totally black or other color. But you have to have the guan and you have to have the hat. And then you go out. If you run out with your hair like that, with nothing on your head, it's like a woman runs out without wearing their socks and shoes okay it's like okay it's like running naked you're, you're literally like you're running naked on street a guy without that hat go watch all korean dramas that's set in uh li chao the the yi dynasty and see how the guys dress do you ever see outside okay on the street a guy you know, like without a hat, 
not happening. Okay, same thing in China, not happening. So when when you see Yu Luochun, when the male lead is running without his hat, like all the time, I'm like, oh no, oh no, no. This is like the biggest mistake you can make. You've done the clothes right. You've done his clothes pretty proper to the Ming Dynasty style, and then you forgot the hat. I'm like, okay, it's dead. <laughs> Thank you for Lisa for your super chat. Uh, speak to one of your classes. Wow, wow, that that would be very. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Who are the students? World literature is that like a what 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 like primary school, middle school, high school, college? <laughs> thank you for bliss, beauty, and glitter. I see you again. Thank you for super chat. Have a lovely. Thank you. Oh, I'll, I'll try my best. See that on my couch. That is my ongoing project. I'm trying to make that piece of cloth, but I don't know if it's gonna turn out okay. Because the material, the fabric is super slippery, may not be the best thing to sew. <sighs> English major in college. Wow, <laughs> that's a long time ago in my life. I did do a English literature degree, but it was um. Now I think back, it's like I don't really understand what I was doing back then. <laughs> So, that's all I want to say about Yu Luochun. Probably wouldn't make of it because that drama is like if you've watched a couple of episodes, you kind of get the idea. It's just you don't quite know where's the logic of everything. You, it doesn't not make sense. So how am I supposed to talk about it? It's like this is a story about this person does this, but then when I think about it, it actually doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. So it's very hard to talk about that drama. Any news about Mo Xiang Tongshi being in jail? Um, I've heard he is in jail, but I、uh, she is in jail, but I I don't know the details. <clears throat> I think it's because of the、uh, certain sort of illegal businesses, like it's to do with you're su not supposed to earn money from doing something, and then you did that type of thing. But then I don't know <clears throat> much more about it. What can you not do? A lot. Most of the sports, I am an I am an idiot at sports. I can't do any sports, pretty much. <laughs> Cannot coordinate my eyes and hands. Cannot ride a bicycle. Ha <laughs> ha. I cannot ride a bicycle. That department, Xiao Zhan, does better than I do. He, cause he's from Chongqing too, and he can. Magically, he can. <laughs> I can't. <clears throat> does it bug you? It does bug me. Yeah, drama, plagiarism. If I didn't know, well, I I, I would have already watched it. Like three ten miles of peach blossoms. I had no idea after I watched the whole thing. I didn't find it out until much later. So, you know, I I was like, yeah, but I I've already watched it, and I can't just say I hate it because I loved it at the time. And so, so you know, the truth is, I did like it, but I did know it's now. I, like I know it's plagiarized, but if I know beforehand, well, this whole thing is so plagiarized, and everybody is agreeing on that, then I probably wouldn't watch it. Cause, cause I would, I would like even if I like it, you know, I wouldn't be able to really openly discuss that with other people. So it's like wasted investment. Then why do it? Just look at how many. Dramas are in Chinese drama land. I already have to watch that many. So when I think about which drama I should pick, I would consider that in 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 case I wasted too much time for no good result. Like Yu Luochun, I really just feel I shouldn't have gone in to watch it. I was just curious about its costumes, and I was happy about it a lot of it. But then, but then the guy not having a hat is just so bad. Like I don't understand why. And then the plot is like, do not watch it. It does not make sense anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Season three of Mo Dao Zu Shi. When the animation comes out, yeah, yeah, why not? 
it's it's already there. Why not watch it? You know, I have no problem with Mo Dao Zhu Shi at all. Uh, whatever, like you know, with the actor later, it won the drama. Like when Untamed was airing, it didn't have problems. I liked it, so I'm never gonna say there are people out there because of what happened later, right? They're they're saying uh, Untamed is a piece of shit. All the actors are piece of shit in that too. I'm like, come on, come on, you're 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 not making sense. You know, time progresses linearly. Okay, so I wouldn't agree with that kind of saying. Mm, so, as for animation, definitely, definitely, I'm gonna watch it. <clears throat> so we should end this. It's already, <laughs> it's already, already two hours and a half. Holy, good luck to the people who want to watch this in playback. <laughs> How am I supposed to time code this? Does anyone? If you've sat through this whole two hours and a half, like now, think about it, what I have talked about. How, how am I supposed to time code this entire thing? I have no idea what I've said. And I can't, I can't put it in categories and time code. Ah, whatever. Okay. So, 10 Miles Origin Novel is online. Just search it, you probably can find it. Um, <clears throat> Or the the, the, the the plagiarized one is also online. You can also find it. <laughs> um, Chris Wu Zhong. Yeah. So let's see. Um, next, because we do this monthly, right? Next month, we'll know. We'll know what is the what is the verdict of the live show called Chris Wu Saga, and see if it's gonna outshine all the fictional stuff we we have this month. Thank you for joining in. Take care wherever you are. Um, thanks to Delta variant. We're still in pandemic. This is just not ending. Yeah. <laughs> Avenue X is on the brink of exploding because of this. <sighs> I The reason that I've been able to put out weekly videos for 86 weeks now up to this point, thanks to COVID. Otherwise it would have been broken somewhere in the middle because I need to travel, ha ha ha, and I didn't do that. And we're looking at a hundred week, not so far down the line. So take care, survive, okay? Whatever, be happy, survive, stay healthy. And then and then we'll have all the dramas to enjoy and all the melons to eat in this world. <laughs> do a little bit exercise, make yourself healthy so that you can eat more. Okay.